I'm black. Seven out of every ten black men never went to the ninth grade. Didn't have fifty dollars and hadn't had a hundred for a month when they went to jail. So the poor and the ignorant go to jail while the rich go to San Clemente. We beg your pardon, America, because we understand now much more deeply than we understood before. But we don't want to take the pardon back. We want to issue some more. Pardon Brother Frank Willis, the Watergate security guard. He was only doing his job. Pardon H. Rap Brown. It was only burglary. Pardon, pardon the best Why? What's the first thing you noticed about R. Darius? Smile. He likes to smile. His smile. Red smiley. Teeth, teeth. <laughs> he always smiles, man. Can you smile? Why do you think he smiles a lot? I don't know. Maybe because he's happy. Maybe that's his way of living. I grew up. I grew up. Abbeville, South Carolina. Also known as Abbeville, South Carolina. This place is home. This is the place that taught me how to smile through anything. I wouldn't trade my experiences in this place for nothing in the world. People see me and think that I've had this amazing life, when really it's not like that at all. I'm not perfect, neither is my story, but I'm proud of it. This is my testimony. Chilling. We think we chilling, But that store right there, you can see it. That store right there. That's where we. That's where we used to get our cigar from. Tell it how we used to do it though, Louie. We'll go up there. Yeah, we gotta go up there about four of us. Yeah, about four be, of us. It'd be about four of us. One, somebody buying some. Yeah. The other two people, they talking. Yeah. One person stealing, you feel me? We yeah. taking that shit, cause they used to have everything on the camera. Cigars, blacks, all that, you feel me? Yeah. So we got people distracting all, we want this, we want that, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And that day we hitting them off. Yeah. Come right back here, go to the trap, smoke, you feel me? We got 30 cigars, yeah. 10 blacks. Dang, <laughs> yeah. Like I say, we got all that. 30 of us back then. We, we used to be deep over here like every day. Yeah. Like that's when that's when people like knew who the South Side really was. Oh, yeah. We gotta get my bay on the on the on the video. Yeah, yeah we gotta get my bay on video. This, this the lady's house who was behind everything. That's my bay right here. Yeah. 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 You know what they have to do this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no telling. It's like on the south side, like we just getting a lot of shit, man. Like from hen licks, you feel me, to like to the good side and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like going to church like that. Like when I first seen him pray down, like, you feel me, like I could tell like he was really into it, you feel me? He was real passionate about it. You could tell he's praising for the Lord. He's dancing for the Lord. You know, and it just showed me that um, that he had God in him. And, you know, and I was like, wow, you know, is that my son up there doing that? If you ever see him do it, man, it's powerful. Uh, you can tell that, uh, that it's, very, it's a very spiritual thing when you see them go into that aspect of it. You know that our Darius used to smoke weed, drink, steal from stores, and at one point even attempted to sell weed. 
No, I didn't know that. <sighs> I didn't know that. I'm 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 surprised because I didn't I didn't see that in him. No. Did you tell him the truth? Crazy thing about this is that I would be in church on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And when I got out at 1, by 2 p.m., I would have a blunt in my hand. I didn't think nothing was wrong with that. God tried to warn me, but I was hard-headed. Our dads worked real hard um, to get into our lineup. And I remember when he first uh, had his first injury, it was... It was rough on him. You could tell it really, you know. Anytime you see a young person get hurt, it it it, it shakes them to the core. I was like, what's going on with theirs, you know? I was like, get up, you know, get up. I never could imagine that he would have tore his ACL. It, I never would imagine that because he'd been playing football just about all his life since he was six years old. You know, he had football number one. He played football since he was a little red league growing up throughout high school. When he tore ACL, it really took a toll on him. Uh, yeah. It really hit him. He bounced back very well. I mean, he, he was ahead of schedule. Uh, you know, he was very eager. He, I think he was a good patient. And, uh, you know, he just worked so hard. He got, he got really muscular and Man, it was it was awesome training. I was there with him the whole time, and 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 you know he felt like he was ready. I felt like I came back stronger than ever. Only thing was, I was still spiritually disconnected from where I needed to be. I was still in the streets, and I was also still very active in the church. After that McCormick game, I just knew that next week I was going to rack up in stats. I wanted revenge. I remember telling Coach DeBose I wanted them to feel my pain. I mean, he was healthy. He was, you know, you, you could see him. It was almost, I would say, he was close to a, a 100% uh, as he was before his injury. Um, moving and having confidence in his, in, his, in his knee. And then, you know, it happened again, you know. And it just broke my heart. It made my stomach hurt because he had worked so hard to get back. And then one year, it's almost one year after the date. I mean, it was, it's really scary how, how much it, same team, just different location. It like really hurting him or whatever. He used to, you know, try to hide the pain or whatever. But like me and DB has been real homeboys or whatever, you know, like we could see through that like, for real though. Like I, I knew that was taking a toll on him. Like, I hated it, you feel me? Cause I know that was his dream or whatever. Like, he all, he automatically knew he was going somewhere in football or whatever like that. Cause my boy, he was tough now. He was tough head. He was very sad. He cried a lot of days, thinking that was the end of his life. That just made him tougher. That just made him tough and had him ready for life, you know. If you can go through, a young man go through two ACL tabs and, 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 and come out of it and still play the game, I just want him to uh, not be a quitter and, and, and finish what he started. He always told me, man, we gotta get out of Advil one day. He put, he put forth to that. And it ain't like, and, and when he said that, it wasn't him, you feel me? He wasn't just saying that about himself. He, he meant all of us, you feel me? Cause he always tell me, bro, we all gonna be great. Overall, he's a, he's a fighter. I decided to let go of some of the things that I felt God was trying to tell me that I didn't need in my life. I stopped smoking, I stopped stealing, I stopped claiming that I was a gangster and I, decided to develop a personal relationship with God. I started praying every day. I truly rededicated my life to God. That was the best thing I could have ever did. 
where the word says that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. So uh, all things that we go through, God knows about them and he can use those to make us better persons or to steer us in another direction. There's no doubt that God used two ACLs. The ironic thing of them being against the same team uh, once again to, to get our Darius to say, hey, I am in control. Because, you know, I, you know, everybody has plans and dreams for themselves. But once again, are they willing to, to buy into what God's will for their life is? I truly believe that I would have been playing football somewhere. But as I evaluate the whole situation, I know that God was simply showing me that I could be successful in so many other ways. I never even watched football on TV. I would always prefer to watch a movie or a TV show. He had the intangibles that some college coaches look for, number one. Most importantly, he can run. Uh, as a defensive back, an outside backer type, he's, he's long. He was very flexible in his hips, light on his feet. Uh, did not mind sticking his nose in there and hitting you. God didn't want him to play football because uh, he's going to make an impact in another way through film, television, stuff like that. And that's the way I feel. I'm his biggest fan. He got a bright future, man. Future real bright. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very proud of him. I, I tell him every time he comes home, but I'm proud of you. I know he's going to graduate soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know he's making big moves. So. He's loving what he's doing, so I think he's going to be successful in it. I know that God has put me on the right path. I'm not perfect, nor is my journey. I accept my flaws. I'm proud of my scars that hide behind my smile. I know that my journey is far from over and that I will continue to face obstacles. But I know one thing for sure. With God as the head of my life, I am unstoppable, and I know that no matter what I do, God will get the ultimate glory. Like, you got I know I went to school and got two my brains head. all f***ed up, and I know he's from the same place I'm oh, from. You so, doing I'm just it. looking at it like, is he going to make it or is he going to come? Man, this man stuck it out through it all. Yeah, oh, just grind it and Mr. Yeah. Claflin and all type of no, no, yeah. type, I like that. Type. You gotta love so you got, you know what I'm saying? I got another question. You got to love it. Hey, listen, hold on, dog. You got to see it. Hey, hold on, man. It go further than right here on Flower yeah, Street. Man. That's where you came from, but it go real wide with you. Cause like I said, yeah, Nick right. Spike Lee. You right. Like Spike Lee. Like Spike Lee. You dig it. Get over. Slow the fuck up. Turn around. It's like this. You dig it. It's like you're drinking NJ. Like that. But you got to respect the young Came from where we came from and pushing forward. That's right, no. Keep talking. Right. Well, Which is right you around here, cuz. It's a documentary. Damn right. Yeah, I like uh, that. Oh, oh man. man. Shout out to my boy Old hey, Dog. Yeah, you know I mean. Awesome. He the production man in anything. So we go, we go, we go shoot that bull baby video on the south side of the Hey, boy. 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 Hey,